The defending champions take center stage once again as the Chiba Jets visit the San Neo Phoenix here at the Toyohashi City Gym. Welcome to the B-League action this Sunday afternoon and we have the Chiba Jets looking for back-to-back -back victories here against the embattled San Neo Phoenix. San En on nine straight losses desperately need a win here. They're embattled because they still don't have one of their imports in Elias Harris who has been out with a hamstring injury and definitely with just two international imports and one Asia Kota import, you're going to be really hard pressed. As we take a look at the standings from both these squads, Chiba at 13-4 and four in the number one spot in their division and Sanen 3-14 and 14 in 10th spot in their conference. These two teams have faced each other already here this season. That was yesterday. And there's the result on your screens. 101 to 89. It was close for three quarters, but in the fourth quarter, making a strong push and eventually winning that contest was Chiba. There's Carter on your screens. And now, just too many turnovers. Converted. They stayed in it. But in the end, the boys in white would come out with the victory. Josh Duncan there, hitting from the outside. He was 12 out of 18 from the field yesterday. 3 out of 5 from 3-point distance for 36 points. And he had 14 points in the 4th quarter alone. And that led them to victory. As we take a look at the entire lineup of the Chiba Jets, they are the defending champions. Last year finished with a 43-win, 14-loss card. And now they're looking just as good as they did in the previous season. Looking to be able to come up with back-to-back -back titles if they possibly can. Nice look there at Coach Atsushi Ono. In just a little bit, we're going to be hearing the starting five. For the visiting Chiba Jets. And then we're going to have all the fanfare to introduce the San and Neo Phoenix. The Chiba Jets are on a five-game winning streak. Looking to make it six in a row. Here come their starters. They're going to start out with number one, Josh Duncan. Number two, Yuki Togashi. The starter for the Japanese national squad. They also have Takuma Sato in their starting lineup together with Shutahara. And John Mooney as their other import. Coming off the bench will be Christopher Smith. Not to mention the fact that we also have Gavin Edwards, who is their naturalized player. It's a solid lineup here for the Chiba Jets. Hoping to make it three straight wins, but for the hometown fans here at the Toyohashi City Gym, they want a victory for their San Eniu Phoenix. And as they dedicate this game to Stevan Yelovac who was their import last year and unfortunately, a few days away, passed away. Yesterday, we had a moment of silence for him and I'm presuming we're going to have the same here this afternoon. Stevan gave it his all every single time he took to the floor and he's well loved here by the fans of the San Anio Phoenix may he rest in peace
<coughs> What's happening? <coughs> Real? What's happening? Tapos na? Ha? Can I see? May, 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 may. Can I see? Is ano? May, ano? May. Siya pala yung may dalang bata. Sila Joe Rogan mo ulit. Huh? Huh? Yung ano ulit? God. Paano siya yun? Paano siya yun? Yes. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Tell me what she says, And there you have the starters for the San Anil Phoenix. Starting out with 30 Ravenna, Robert Carter, Justin Knox. These are regular starters for their squad. But then suddenly thrust into the starting lineup. Shota Tsuyama who has started a couple of games. But surprise starter is Yusei Sugiura. Let's take a look at this head-to-head -head matchup. But we're going to be following all throughout. It's Justin Knox on the left. And on the right, you have John Mooney. You can see their averages essentially mirroring each other. The fans are pumped, and why not? They've got the defending champions here at the Toyohashi City Gym. And they battled them on even terms for three quarters. Coach Branislav Vicentic wants to be able to not just battle them for three, but to be able to come away with a victory and also snap their nine-game losing skid. Will it happen today? We'll find out. Our officials handling the proceedings here. There they are on your screens. For today, we've got referee Ito, referee Hosoda, and referee Iwaki. Once again, the starters for both these squads, the San Anil Phoenix with Ravenna, Carter, Sugiura, Knox, and Tsuyama. For the defending champs, starting out with Duncan, yesterday's hero, Togashi, Sato, Hara, and Mooney. Just to give you the complete story about yesterday's first game, Mooney also had 28 points together with 19 rebounds, a monster, monster game. Here for Mooney, he was backed up by Akaho with 15 points and Togashi just with 17 points, 7 points rather, but look at this, 13 assists. For the losers, Ravenna had a solid game with 15 points, 6 rebounds and 5 assists. They were led scoring-wise by Robert Carter who had 24 points, 5 boards, 5 assists and 4 steals. Justin Knox also with a good outing. 14 points and 5 rebounds. And Tsuya had 11 points. And here we go. Sanen with the first possession. They get it to Carter. Looking out for 30. Wants to be extra aggressive on his return here after that two-game suspension. Carter falling away will miss. Knox with the offensive rebound. That will also be key here for the Sanen New Phoenix. How many extra baskets they're able to go and get. Two attempts there. Nets them nothing. Open three! 
They dodged the bullet there. Carter with the rebound. They got a sprint down on defense. Transition defense is also key here for San En. Going inside. Knox makes the spin. Lefty drops. First two points here for the San Anil Phoenix and Justin Knox. Chance of defense here. They're going to need to play tough defense against the very potent offense here of the Jets. Tugashi up against Carter. He likes his matchup. He's quicker. Shoot the hard hits! Wow, that was contested. That was great defense, just better offense. 30. Sees the opening. Nice kick out. Extra pass. And they're going to reset once again. Knox has been waiting for it inside. 30. It will be fouled. That's going to be the first personal foul here on Takuma Sato. He doesn't like the call. There was some contact there. As 30 changed directions, he had his hand on 30's chest. That was definitely a foul. Thirty, of course, apologized for the frustration he showed in their loss two weeks earlier. Hence, he got suspended. Knox kicks it out. Carter for three. Just a little bit offline. Another offensive board. Sugiyuro has done well. Tsuyama hits. One point lead here for... The San Daniel Phoenix. One and done. Sugiyara with the board. Pushes it forward. Tsuyama stops. Pops. And will miss fire. Mooney with the rebound. Here comes Shutahara. Up against 30. There's a switch. They re-switch right now. Carter now on Mooney. Long Tom hits. Nice start here for Yuki Tugashi. He's got three points yesterday. Had an impressive 13 assists. And here they come. Floater is going to work there for Mooney. And just like that it is an 8-4 advantage for Chiba. Their biggest lead of the game. 30 on the outside. In no rush. And now Carter making his move. Up against Duncan. Yesterday's MVP. And Carter hits. Coach Ono asking for a travel. Saying there was a lifting violation, but the referee say play on. Sanna now just down by two. On the outside. Long two for Duncan. No, he's gonna move it forward. That might be the first foul on Justin Knox. Very important for Knox and for Carter to manage their fouls. There is no Elias Harris to spell them. Knox it is first. Once again, chance of defense. On the outside, Mooney for three. A little bit short. Nice board there for Knox. 30, trying to speed things up. Let's see what the call is going to be. Well, they're going to call the offensive foul there on 30. Extending there with his offhand. And the referee saw it. First foul there on 30. Mooney with the offensive rebound. Duncan with his first three. That's blocked. Mooney falling away. Hits. Lead is back up to four here for the Chiba Jets. Four points ready for Mooney. Sugiura. Skying and missing. Another rebound here for Josh. And Shutahara hits. Shutahara now has got five points early in this ballgame. 
And it's a 12 to 6 lead. Enjoyed by Chiba. They need some offense here. To Yama with a layup. Yes! Attacking the heart of the defense there. And he sprints back down. Togashi, just quicker than everybody else. Finds Mooney. Mooney with a jumper. That's another assist here for Togashi. Mooney found his range early. And he's looking good. Chiba looking good. Sugiura. Now to Yama. 30. 30 puts up a three. That was halfway down. It rattles out. Chiba looking to add to their lead here. Nice behind the back pass there by Togashi. That's going to be another assist. No, it won't be. Duncan is going to get to that one. Nice movement without the basketball, but good defense play there that time by the Neo Phoenix. To Yama. Just shorten that one. The tip will stay here with Sanen. 30 asking for it. Will attack. Using his big, strong body to create space. First two points here for 30, Ravenna. San Anio Phoenix within four. Togashi on the outside. Gives it to Mooney. Togashi's going to get it back. Up against 30. Look at how quick Togashi is. Now who's that foul going to be called on? Take your pick. It could be 30. It could be Sugiura. He just exploded to the basket. They're gonna foul that. They're gonna call that foul on 30 Ravenna. That's gonna be 30 second. Togashi on the line now, and he's calling out the defensive instructions right before his free throw. Thirty will have to be replaced. But the Chiba Jets do have a following. And a lot of their fans do travel. You saw them on your screens a while ago. That pass, ill-advised. To the corner. Checking in is Christopher Smith for the very first time. Togashi gets denied there by Carter. And he fell awkwardly on his ankle. Three on the way, Tsuya, short. Tsuya had 11 points yesterday. Almost seven minutes gone here in the first period. Good pace from both these squads, but it's a seven point lead enjoyed by Chiba. Togashi, binding his time once again. Puts up a three, gets blocked. Second block already for Carter. Carter, might want to take this one all the way. Does. That's going to cut the lead down to five. Robert Carter, picking up where he left off yesterday. He had an all-around game yesterday. He had four steals. Today, he's got two blocks already. Just about two and a half minutes remaining. Here in the first period. Smith makes his move. Nice cutting off the passing lanes there. Two new players have checked in now. Tugashi is going to take a breather as Matsuaki checks in. This is where it happened. He came down awkwardly and very, very quickly he knew something was wrong. Yamauchi has checked in as well. Those are the two new players and a foul will be called down low. That might be on Akaho. Nice look inside, Carter. Creating some space. There was some contact, even from Smith, but they're going to give the foul here to Akaho. Early entry here for Akaho, and why not? He had a great game yesterday. A 
Takaho had four threes as part of his total 15 points. Carter there making that free throw. Makes both. That's going to bring Sanen to within three after being down by seven. The veteran checking in, Atsuya Ota. He's going to be tasked there to guard that gentleman. He's right beside Josh Duncan. Atsuya Ota is a longtime center of the Japanese national team, standing six foot six. Some say a little bit taller, might be closer to six eight. Looking for space on the outside. Fumio, nice pass. Duncan, a little bit too strong. Nice rebound there from Ota. And Sanen looking to come even closer. Nice play inside. Yamauchi was looking for the offensive rebound. Tsuya felt he got fouled. It's going to stay on this end. Nice spin there. Just overshot it. Duncan. Try to call her the rebound, but the ball hit the baseline. Under two minutes to play here in period number one. Two, a nice look inside. You always have to account for the inbounder. That time they failed and the lead has been cut down to one. Sanen right back in this one. Fumio. He is the backup point guard of Togashi. Smith showing his dribbling prowess and misfires in the three. 70 seconds remaining here. Tui attacks. Hey, they see that's a clean block. That was very close. It'll be nice to see that again. That looked like a goaltending violation because it looked like the ball did come off the backboard. Everybody trying to get confirmation on that one. Hard to say that the referees missed it because everything happened so quickly. It'll be nice even for us to see that replay. We're not going to get that chance though. And Coach Branislav still incensed. One point lead enjoyed by Chiba. Under a minute remaining in this one. Fumio to the corner. Three on the way, yes! Nice assist there from Fumio, finding his shooter, Akaho, at the corner. 1-3 now for Akaho. We mentioned he had four yesterday. He's in there to spread the floor and drain those threes. Carter, up against Smith. Nice move there from Carter. Robert Carter looked like he was going to stop his attack and then eventually attacked once again. Watch it here. There's the attack. Pulls it out and then spins. Attacks once again. Basket and one opportunity. Smith will pick up his first. Three-point play now in the offing. Carter's going to get that one to drop. That cuts the lead of Chiba to just a point. They go inside to Duncan. Duncan double teamed. He'll come up short there. Nice lead pass. Tsuya gets away. And just like that, the San Anil Phoenix have retaken the lead. A second remaining in this one. That would have counted if it dropped. But a late surge by the San Anil Phoenix and their fans are on their feet. And why not? That late push here in the first 10 minutes of play has given them a one-point lead at 21-20.
Welcome to the second quarter here from the Toyohashi City Gym as the Chiba Jets are in town visiting the San Emil Phoenix. For all the fans in the Philippines, you can catch all the B-League action on TAP Sports, TAP Go, the Smart Giga Play app, and the Puso Pilipinas Facebook page and YouTube channel. Misfiring there from the side. That would have been a three. Yamauchi playing the point. San Daniel Phoenix has brought in eight new players for this campaign. And that gentleman was one of their holdovers. And why not keep him? He's a great gunner from the outside. That is Kazuma Tsuya. First three-pointer here for Tsuya. That's his specialty. He's got five points. Foul will be called there. That's going to be the first on Tsuya. And the first team foul of the San Anio Phoenix. Trying to make sure that he's all over the shooters. You have to be. That's where they really hurt San Nen yesterday from the outside. Four point lead enjoyed by San Nen. That's their biggest lead. And very quickly, it's erased. Nice basket once again there from Makaho. He's got two threes. They're going to Carter. Carter, strong move. That's not going to drop. Good steal here from Matsuwaki. Yamauchi blocked from the back. And a foul is going to be called there on Yamauchi. That's a poor foul if you ask me. Because very quickly now, you have San Neo Phoenix with two team fouls. And a whole lot of time remaining. And Chiba is one of those smart teams that if you get into foul trouble, they will try to take advantage and go to the foul line and score some easy points. Fumio. Finds Duncan. Duncan yesterday was near perfect. But here today, he's missed a few already. They go to the wings. Matsuaki. Matsuaki's going to try to bring it inside. Tsuya left open for three. Can't drain that one though. Still a one point lead by the San Anil Phoenix, but now they're on D. Fumio. Whips a pass over to Duncan. Extra pass. Three on the way. Yes! Nice basket there from Takuma Sato. One of the starters here today from Coach Ono. And it's a two-point lead once again for Chiba. Knox. Takes a three and makes it. Knox has got to be extra aggressive here today. Yesterday, he did have 14 points. But they're going to need a whole lot more because Elias Harris is still in the injured list. Gavin Edwards also is not going to be fielded in today, apparently. So the Chiba Jets not at full strength. Tsuya. Defense closed out on him. Ota. Coming up high, setting the pick. We'll get the pass. They've got to make their move. Talking about Sanen. Five seconds remaining. Long Tom, not going to work. Tracked down there by Fumio. Duncan will give it out. They're going to set up their defense. Talking about their offense, excuse me, of the Chiba Jets. Fumio trying to get inside. That's a nice handoff. All Josh Duncan had to do was just put it up. He was that close to the basket. One point lead here for Chiba. Three minutes quickly gone here in the second period. And a foul is going to be called on Fumio. That's going to be the first team foul of Chiba here in the second quarter. Thirdly Ravenna is going to check back in. Remember, he's got two personal fouls. Yuki Tugashi checking back in. So a lot more speed, a lot more firepower and creativity on the floor now here for Chiba. Tsuyama was the starter today. Check back in. And hitting from the side there is Robert Carter.
Togashi's gonna give it up. Shutahara is checked in as well. So almost their starting five back on the floor. Togashi. Togashi hoists the three and hits! Togashi has got two three-pointers already. He has also a three-point play. That's why he's got nine points. Asking for two free throws was 30 Ravenna. And the referee says, nope, just a baseline inbound. And there's six to be played here before the halftime break. Tsuyama can't find a friend, eventually gets it to Matsuwaki. Carter. Carter with a quick jumper in and out. Josh Duncan with another rebound. Duncan already with six boards. Mooney. Big, big action. High, low play. It works. Josh Duncan will get a basket and one opportunity as Carter picks up a foul. There was some body contact down low, so Carter is going to pick up his first and Josh Duncan on the line to add to his tally. He's got four points. He's had a slow start here today as compared to yesterday where he finished with 36 points and in fact he had 14 in the fourth period. That's the payoff period. And they were clinging on to a three-point lead and they eventually won that one. 101 to 89. 30. Now finds some space and gets his first two points in the ball game. 30 Ravenna now starting to heat up. Ill-advised pass and Mooney knew it. 30 within three. Officially 34 31 is our score line. Tsuyama. Back to 30 30. Immediately just goes straight to the basket. Will come up short that time though. The defense closed in from behind as well, making it really difficult. That's going to be a kick ball, and that's going to bring a stop to this proceedings here. This is going to be our first timeout. It's an official one. 4.48 remaining here in the first half. We got a good one on our hands from the Toyohashi City Gym. It's the Chiba Jets up against the San Anillo Phoenix. Halfway past the second period. And it's a three-point lead here by Chiba. Just like yesterday, Sanen hanging around. Smith, nice pass to Mooney. Mooney with a slam dunk here. Showing us his strength inside. 
Muni now with 8 points to go with 4 rebounds and 1 assist. Carter. Has to give it up. 30. Thinking about that 3. Got some space. Long 2. No. Knox to the offensive rebound. Knox and will attack. High off the glass. Works. Lead is back down to 3. We've got a highly competitive match here this Sunday afternoon. And we'd like to thank all of you for joining us here. Anthony Suntai with the call. Mooney kicks it out. Open three for Smith. Yes! He had all day to shoot that one. Lead back up to six here. First points there for Christopher Smith. Tuyama. Can't get past Togashi. Togashi's got incredible foot speed. Carter for three. Yes! Answering the three there of Smith. Lead is back down to three. Three minutes and some change to be played here. Matsuwaku will pick up a foul. That was just too close for comfort. Well, he did try to go for the steal. Got a lot of body. Timeout now is going to be called. Chiba Jets. Want to talk about this offensive pattern. Togashi triggering the inbound here. Let's see the play drawn up by Coach Ono. He wants to get rid of this pesky Sanen as early as he possibly can. Nice layup inside. Rolling to the basket there was Faraz Rashid, a youngster, 24 year old, standing 6 foot 8. They say he could be one of the future pillars here of the Chiba Jets. Only averaging 14, actually he's played in 14 games, averaging just 5 minutes a contest. But there, immediately contributing. Under 3 to play here. Tsuyama with the baseline inbound. They find 30. Now to Tsuyama. Tsuyama will attack. Nice kick out. Sugiura. He's got that in his arsenal. So essentially now the starting fire for the San Daniel Phoenix on the floor here. Togashi. Nice pass once again. They're looking for their big man who's rolling. Watch it there. Making use of his entire six foot eight frame. Two free throws now coming up here for Faraz Rashid. Mm -hmm. 
First rattles out. That's what he's got to work on. His touch from the free throw line. He's got a good stroke. But you can't teach height as they say. Six foot eight. That's going to drop. He's getting them quality minutes here. Off the bench. Ota's going to check in. I think they need Ota to be able to shut down the youngster. It's a 37-year-old Atsuya Ota up against a 24-year-old Faraz Rashid. That's going to be on the defensive end though. Yamauchi has checked back in. Ota back to Yamauchi. Here comes Yamauchi. Extra pass. In for the first time is Okada. Okada is a three-point gunner. He plays tough defense as well. 30 has been rested. Yamauchi has got to take that one. Will come up short. Duncan with the rebound. Trying to increase their lead and that's going to be a kick ball. That's when Togashi is so dangerous. When he attacks, he can create for himself and also for his teammates. It's pick your poison really. Look at that very quick inbound pass. To himself, essentially. And Togashi has given his squad an eight-point lead. This is now the biggest lead in the ball game. Poor pass. Carter's able to get to it. One and done. Here's Faraz. We'll wait for the rest of the troops. Just a little over a minute remaining in this one. There's Togashi once again. Finds Faraz. Faraz. That's too deep, but Ota, together with Carter, just couldn't call her that board. But you like that from the youngster, always being aggressive. San Daniel Phoenix will call this time out here as they find themselves trailing by eight. A minute, 14 seconds remaining in this one. Jumper's not going to work there for Smith. Sane needs a strong finish here. Let's see if they can get it. Knox asking for a foul. He's on the outside, not looking for his shot. Okada gives it back to him. Carter using that pick. Knox is trying to get the ball inside. It finds Okada. Okada's going to send it back out. They've got another 14 seconds here. Yamauchi to Carter. Carter's got it in his range. Puts up a long two. Misfires. And the big man Ota's there to clean things up. Check that. That's Sugiura. Foul's going to be called there. No, just a tap. Sanen cannot foul. They're in the penalty fraction of a second difference from the game clock and the shot clock and expect Chiba to milk this to the very end they'll want something going towards the basket 
because they know Sanen can give them easy free throws. Here's Togashi. Togashi puts up a three. A little bit offline. Yamauchi will not get that off in time. Even if that dropped, that would not have counted. 20 minutes done here at the Toyohashi City Gymnasium. And that's your score. Chiba Jets, 44. The San Daniel Phoenix, 38.
Let's bring you back to some of the highlights here of the first half. It was close all throughout, but you could just get the feeling that the Chiba Jets are in control of this ball game. Even though they're not up by that big, they're up by six here at the half, 44 to 38. And Sanan actually had a taste of the lead here and there. But essentially, you can see that the defending champions do know what's happening. And you get the feeling like they're keeping their opponents at bay. But for the San Antonio Phoenix, unfortunately, no Elias Harris once again. But on the other side, Chiba Jets also, not with a full deck of cards because Gavin Edwards not playing here today. Gavin Edwards, their naturalized player. Short there for Josh Duncan and Tsuya. As you can see there, getting the fast break opportunity, puts it through. First period ended, Sanen on top, 21 to 20. Extra pass, look at that, finding the open man and Akaho hits. Akaho had four threes yesterday in their victory, already has two here today. Yamauchi finds Knox, Knox puts up a three and hits. I feel Knox has got to be a little bit more aggressive offensively. Look at Togashi hitting there from the outside. Togashi is that special kind of player who knows when to attack, when to take that three-point shot, and when to set up his teammates. Smith inside, nice handoff. Mooney with a slam. That's textbook basketball. Attack the defense when it reacts. Give out the easy pass. Inside, essentially a sky hook there for Knox. Togashi, look at that play, passing it to himself. That's got to be an assist. As you take a look at the numbers here, just a six point lead here enjoyed by Chiba. At 44 to 38, and look at the two point field goals. Chiba just up 55% to 54%, but this is where they really made a killing. In three point distance, shooting 38%, seven out of 18. San Daniel Phoenix was just 20% at three out of five. Free throws, not really a factor. And you can see both teams taking very good care of the basketball. And in most of the areas in the stat sheet, you can see. Essentially even. Points in the paint at 20. We're going to be showing you the leading scorers in just a little bit. We'd like to welcome everybody back here to the Toyohashi City Gymnasium, the home of the San Anil Phoenix. If you're just joining us here, Sanen on a nine-game losing streak. On the other side, hitting their stride, the Chiba Jets with five straight victories. Let's take a look at his head-to-head -head matchup between these two stars. That's Knox and Mooney. Mooney having one point more and also he's got more assists. We're about ready to begin here the second half. Once again, for all the fans in the Philippines who want to be able to catch the B League action. Well, first here, let's take a look at the scoring. There you have Carter with 14 points, seven points for Knox, and five for Tsuya. On the other side, Togashi's got 11 points, eight points for Mooney, and six points there on two three pointers for Raita Akaho. Again, for the fans in the Philippines, catch all the B League action and tap sports. Tap Go, the Smart Giga Play app, Puso Pilipinas, their Facebook page, and YouTube channel. This is going to set up an in, a very enticing second period, second half rather, as we enter the third period of play. Again, these two teams faced each other yesterday. 101 to 89 was the final score there. Winning that was Chiba. 
There's a nice look at Coach Branislav Vicentic and Robert Carter. He's had a solid start. Carter yesterday at 24 points. And today, he's close to that. Once again, Robert Carter actually, look at his averages. He's only averaging, used to be averaging only about 14 points. But yesterday, he did with 24. Today, already with 14. And here we go, second half action. San Neil Phoenix want to be able to make sure they send their fans home on a good note with a victory. Sugiura finds Carter. Third, he's not starting out the third period. Carter for three. A little bit too strong. Knox hits the deck and here comes Tugashi. Trying to race down court. Now they'll set things up. More than enough time under shot clock. Quick hoist. Not going to work. Carter with a rebound. Matsuwaki now. Gets the nod here to start the second half. Knox. Knox, and that's going to be a foul here on Josh Duncan. Duncan has played really solid defense, and that's just his first foul. Knox on the free throw line. Decent game scoring wise. That's his 8th point. He also has 4 rebounds and 2 assists. Makes both. That's going to cut the lead of Chiba down to 4. Now officially with 9 points. They find Mooney. Mooney, the push shot, not going to work. Knocks with another rebound. And Tsuyama was thinking of speeding things up and now says, why don't we just settle down into our half-court set? Matsuwaki, way out high. Find Sugiura, Sugiura, way off on that shot. They set him up quite well though. Togashi will give it up and promptly gets it back. Mooney, nice steal there from Matsuwaki. Nice lead pass, Tsuyama! And the lead has been cut down to two. Here come the San Enio Phoenix. And now chance of defense once again. It has been a rocking Toyohashi City Gymnasium. Everybody wants to see the defending champs come into town. That's going to be a foul on Knox. That's going to be foul number two on Justin. He's going to be replaced. He doesn't like it. Actually, that's his third foul. That's definitely a major reason why he's being rested. Atsui Ota checks back in. Now he needs to really give them quality minutes. Because they're only down by two. Duncan puts up a three. Yes! Remember, Josh Duncan yesterday was on fire. Hitting three out of five threes. He's got eight points now. A ways off is 36 from yesterday, but still, his team is up by 5. That's all that counts. Matsuwaki. Hands it off to Ota. Ota will challenge Josh Duncan. Yes, he will challenge. Knocks with the offensive rebound and puts it through. That all began because of the aggressiveness of Atsuya Ota. Well, he's a veteran talking about Ota. And now, he's got his hands full against Duncan. Duncan just spins away from him. And Ota says, just no easy baskets. Earn it from the free throw line. That was just too easy. He saw the contact that Ota wanted to give him. Watch it here. And he just spun away from it. Moved towards the basket and properly gets fouled. Tsuyama working out their defense here together with Matsuwaki and Ota. Yeah, 
Josh Duncan looking good here. Nice basket there for Josh Duncan. He's got 10 points. Slowly moving towards his huge average. That's very poor. You've got to take care of the basketball, especially when you're in the backcourt. And now, Yuki Togashi makes them pay with that three. And just like that, the lead has ballooned to eight. 14 points now in the contest here for Yuki. You can't give up a turnover, and especially in the backcourt. You're asking for trouble. Matsuwaki will come up short. Jump ball situation there, and we will check the possession arrow. Six minutes, 41 seconds remaining here in the third period. And the ball will go to the Chiba Jets because the possession arrow is pointing their way. So next held ball, it'll be for Sanen. 30 Ravenna checks in. We talked about it at the top of the coverage. 30 Ravenna yesterday had very good numbers. 15 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists. But today he's been held in check. He's also been hampered by two personal fouls early in the contest. Shoot the hara! No. Nice tap. Carter. He's got 30 on the wings. Finds 30. 30 attacks. Basket and one opportunity here for 30 Ravenna. Attacking the defense of Shutahara. He felt Shutahara had not yet been able to set. And that's confirmation there. Smart play there by 30 Ravenna. Shutahara was still moving. And a three-point play in the offing now here for 30. To try to get his team right back in this one. I saw a nice post of 30 Ravenna on his Instagram the other day. Wherein he was pleasantly surprised to find his picture. On the back of a milk carton. So he's an endorser already here in Japan. The Filipinos have made so many waves. Nine Filipinos playing here in the B-League after 30. Opened the door last year. He was the lone Filipino. Matsuwaki with a steal. Puts it through. And a timeout might be called here. No timeout going to be called here by Coach Ono. He trusts his players. But their lead has now been cut down to just three. Togashi puts up a three, will come up short. Carter with the rebound. Carter still. Carter now with seven boards. Takes the pass up against Mooney. What does he want to do? He'll give it up. Matsuwaki. It's a three. And we are tied at 52, the very first tie we've got here this afternoon. Matsuwaki saying, well, I was left open. I had no choice. I had to take it. Carter said, yes, as long as you're free, take that shot. And we are tied, our very first deadlock here at the Toyohashi City Gym.
We're tied here at the Toyohashi City Gymnasium. And looking inside, Smith feels the contact. And that's going to be the third personal foul on 30 Ravenna. That's smart play here for the Chiba Jets. They know 30. Already with two personals. Now with three after that foul. And that's going to be decision-making time here for Coach Branislav Vicentic. Do you keep 30 in? Do you bring him out? Two of your imports already 30, together with Justin Knox nursing three personal fouls. 30 is going to stay in, at least for the time being. They need his leadership. 5-12 remaining in period number three. Smith makes both. Tsuyama Plain point Pushes it forward to Tsuya Gets it back Let's see if they try to look for 30 Extra pass, Tsuya back to 30 Shot clock's at 6 Carter Forces the issue Can't ring the bell though They got some numbers if they want. But a foul is going to be called on Tsuya. That turns out to be a good foul. Again, seeing a lot of minutes here today is Faraz Rashid. And I think one of the main reasons why he's in there is because of his size. That has been the problem of Sanen ever since before. Is their lack of size up front. And now with Faraz Rashid inside... He's going to give them a whole lot of problems. Look at who's guarding him. Tsuya. Tsuya actually stands six foot one. But here comes 30 Ravenna. Finds Carter. Carter to the corner. Tsuya for three. Tsuya Teru. And it's a one point lead here by the San Neo Phoenix. And the fans now loving every moment of this one. They went home disappointed yesterday. Faraz hits a jumper. He's showing us. He's got range. And it's a one-point lead once again here for Chiba. Faraz with five points. He's got one rebound. And he's playing tough defense as well. He's manning the post against Carter. Carter. Let's see if he tries to take the youngster to school. Does. Nice crossover move. He made that look so easy. They've got to send the double if Faraz is guarding someone like Carter. The pass in between two players. Yamauchi to 30. 30 goes all the way through. And it's now a three-point lead here for the San Daniel Phoenix. Their biggest lead of the contest. 30 now with nine. Trying to run once again. Duty foul going to be called. 30. Really making sure that there is more than enough contact so that the referees can blow the whistle. Good hands there from Ota. That turns out to be also a very good foul here. For Chiba and Tugashi. That stopped what could have been an easy basket once again. Shutahara is going to check back in. It's a three-point lead by the San Neo Phoenix, and they've got possession of the basketball. Carter. Carter wants to take Rashid and does. That is very smart play here. He's got Rashid on him, and why not take advantage? 21 points right now for Carter. Togashi, basket and one opportunity the other way. This is going to be a three-point play in the offing. That's three points, as they say, the old-fashioned way. Got a timeout on the floor. 2.47 remaining in this one. Another tight affair between these two squads. And it's Sané now with a four-point lead.
Extra free throw coming up here for Yuki Tugashi. Going to try to bring his team to within three. Within a three-point basket. 17 points now for Togashi. Yesterday, he only had seven points, but he had 13 assists. Today, he knows he's got to be a little bit more aggressive. They're actually allow allowing him to take those shots. They don't want him to create for his teammates. Ota on the outside gives it up to 30. 30 will look for Carter. They've changed the defensive assignment. Shutahara was on him, and he misfires. Muni to Togashi. Duncan's in. They want his inside presence. Let's see if they can get him. He's got an advantage there against Ota. Here's Togashi. Gives it up. Shutahara. Extra pass. That's done so well. And hitting that three is Sato. That is patience. And we're tied at 62. Just our second tie of the ball game. Under two minutes to be played here in the third. Yamauchi out to Carter. Now to 30. 30 attacks. That's going to drop. No. He was asking for a foul. He's got to get back defensively. Togashi gets away. And it's a two-point lead once again for Chiba. He's just so quick. Already with 19 markers. Yamauchi. This is where he can take advantage of the size of Togashi. Post him up. But they go to Tsuya. Tsuya falling away. Hits. We're tied once again at 64. 10 points already for Tsuya. He had 11 yesterday. And now he's still got a whole fourth period to play. He likes playing against the Chiba Jets. Muni sets that pick. Gets it. Takes it inside. Basket and one opportunity. Just too strong is John Mooney. There's no way Ota can stay with him. Especially in the air. Look at him. Pushes him out of the way. Basket and one. Free throw here for Mooney. Get some last minute instructions there from Sato. The numbers of Josh Duncan today are solid. 10 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. But his scoring tonight seems pedestrian as compared to yesterday. He was 30, he had 36 points, 14 in the fourth period. But as far as he's concerned, his team's still up here. They're up by three. And this is exactly what happened yesterday. Up until the three, three minutes into the fourth period, seven minute mark, it was just a two-point contest. And then they went on a run. Here is another floater, that time from Carter. Carter with 23. I guess he says, well, if Duncan had 36 yesterday, I can come up with 36 today in a possible victory. Shot clock is off. 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Togashi. He's got to make his move now. Crossover a little bit too quick. First shot works. Will that count? Initially, they say it's counted. They're going to review this one. What a miracle of a shot here from Yuki Togashi. That looked like it should count, but let's get confirmation on the floor. The referee said it counts. And it does, they say. 69-66 is our tally. Heading into the fourth.
It's a three-point affair here. Entering the fourth period. And our officials not yet ready with the clock. Well, for all the fans who want to catch the B-League action, make sure you catch it on Tap Sports. Tap Go and the Smart Giga Play app. Puso Pilipinas Facebook page and their YouTube channel. Good afternoon and welcome to this matchup between the defending champions, Chiba Jets, up against the San Neo Phoenix. That was a brick of a shot there from Yamauchi. Fumio will start out with a jumper in place there of Yuki Togashi. That's a tall order to be able to come in after Yuki and try to contribute. Well, Fumio is a solid backup. Knox is checked back in. He's going to get that one to drop. Again, just trying to stay in step here. Mooney to Fumio. Josh Duncan will give it up. Hara. Nice bounce pass, but the defense was there. It was just too tight. So officially, they're going to say that that shot from Yuki Togashi will not count. So the third period ended 67-66. They're now at 69 because of that shot from Nishimura. We're going to stop, have a stop in the action here as our referees are going to take a look at this one. Will it be deemed just a regular foul? Or will they upgrade it to us unsportsmanlike? Well, it looks like Fumio was trying to go for the ball there. That should be just a regular foul. Sometimes they say if you're not going for the basketball, it can be deemed an unsportsmanlike foul. That's going to be heavy because that's going to be two free throws plus ball possession for your opponent. Now the referee's checking. It could be a big call here against Chiba if it's an unsportsmanlike foul. But personally, it looks like just a regular foul should be assessed. There's confirmation. Just a regular foul. I'm not quite sure why they even had to review that one. Nonetheless, it's a one-point lead. A minute gone here in the fourth and final period. Yamauchi against Fumio. They go inside of Knox. Knox has been on the bench for quite a while, so he's got to be fresh. Can't get away against Duncan. Duncan is a very good post defender. Fumio on the outside. Gets it back. Hara to Mooney. Nice swarming defense put up here by the host team. Shot clock is at six. Fumio launches. Will miss, but Duncan's there. Looks for space. He feels he got hacked. Knox came up from behind to knock that one off. Watch it here. A lot of contact, but the referees say play on. Up against four players there was Josh Duncan. And he's looking up at the monitor saying, did you see that? Referees say play on, but it's a ball still staying here with the visiting Chiba Jets. They get it in bounds. Mooney hits that jumper. That's going to give them a three-point lead. Under eight to play in this contest. Tsuyama. Let's see if they try to go to one of their imports. Fumio. That's terrific defense. Seven seconds in the shot clock now here. For the San Daniel Phoenix. Just getting down and dirty. He was actually 
outside already when he made contact with the ball. And that's why it was a violation. But still, as far as Fumio is concerned, it's a job well done. Carter gets it in. Now they're going to make a quick move. Long three for Tsuya, no. Ota should have brought that down with two hands. Nice look inside. Duncan gets away. And a foul is going to be called on Ota. And Ota's looking and saying, I had possession of that offensive rebound earlier. And I got pushed. But great presence of mind here for the Chiba Jets. And that's why they're the champions. They take advantage of every opportunity. Duncan sprinting down court, ceiling, getting the pass. And he's now on the line for two free throws, looking to increase their already comfortable three points. I say comfortable because this has been a really close affair from both these squads. So this three points is a luxury. Duncan misses the first. Second one's going to drop and leads up to four. 11 points here for Duncan. A far cry from his 36 yesterday. But don't forget, he had 14 in the fourth period. He exploded in the payoff quarter. Knocks on the outside against Fumio. He should have the advantage there. Carter had to put this one up and hits a three. They needed that shot. Actually, it looked like that offensive pattern was going nowhere until that three there from Carter. 72-71 is our tally. Sato's gonna give it up. Fumio. Hara, back to Fumio. Yes! They answer that three of Carter. And suddenly, finding his range is Fumio. That might just keep Yuki Togashi on the bench for a little bit more. Tsuyama. Matsuwaki. They go inside. And a foul is going to be called on Josh Duncan. That'll be foul number two on Josh. Nice position there. Didn't look like Duncan really reached in. Nevertheless, a second personal foul will be assessed. And also a second team foul on Chiba. Sergio Ravenna back in. They get it to Carter. Up against Mooney. Now to Yama. Shot clock at 7. 30. Might have to put this one up. Will attack. Cops out at the last minute. Tsuya for three. No. Mooney with the board. Fumio once again. He's been exceptional here today. Talking about Fumio Fujinaga. Foul is going to be called there. People forget that Fumio is actually already 35 years old. He's a veteran. And there he'll be replaced. Good minutes there from Fumio Nishimura. Only averaging 11 minutes in the 16 games that he has played. But when you're playing behind Yuki Togashi, you're definitely not going to have a lot of playing time. But he had a good contribution. Togashi falling away will come up short knocks it a rebound that's a foul there from Mooney Togashi had to force that one up over the outstretched arms of Carter well just one foul
Carter. Carter against Mooney. That's a good move and a great basket there for Robert Carter. And he continues to sizzle. Carter now with 28 points. To go with 7 boards and 6 assists. Could we have a triple-double here today? Stepping on the baseline, they say on Sato. Could have actually been also a 3-second violation on Josh Duncan. You got an official timeout. 4.57 remaining in this one. Don't go away because we promise you an exciting finish. Past the halfway mark here of the fourth and final period. Ball possession belonging to the host, San Anil Phoenix, as they trail by two. Can they tie things up or get the lead here with a three? This is about the same situation they were in yesterday. They were in the ball game and then suddenly a late surge by Chiba got them the victory. Carter! That's not going to drop. Duncan saves it. Goes to Tugashi. Definitely not a safe lead here by the Jets. Hara. Finds Mooney. Mooney tries to kiss it off the glass. Will miss fire. Matsuaki. Off to Tsuyama. They force it forward. 30. Basket and one. He knew exactly what he wanted to do on that fast break play. Got the contact. Watch it here. He was sprinting down court. The moment he got the pass, just had a couple of dribbles and it went straight into Shutahara. That's a wise play. And he also went away from Mooney, who's a shot blocker. So Ravenna now with 11 points. He's got one rebound, one assist. Completes that three-point play. And it's a one-point lead here enjoyed by the San Anil Phoenix. All the fans here inside the Toyohashi City Gym on the edge of their seats. Togashi asks for it back. Under four to be played. Togashi, the floater! That's just too easy. You cannot allow him to get that deep into the paint. He'll put up that floater like what he did there or he can find the teammate if you react to him defensively. Thirty puts up a three. Good line, a little bit too strong. That's last touch by Matsuwaki. Thirty there apologizing, saying that was on me. I felt it. Defense! 
Togashi will find his import, Josh Duncan. Almost a steal there from Matsuaki. He's got real active hands. Togashi up against 30. Puts up a three. That's offline. Smart play there from Tsuyama. Letting that one go out. Sanen with possession, but down by one. You go to Knox. Knox has been quiet here in the second half. Puts up a hurried hook shot. And here comes Chiba. Looking to increase their lead if they can. Duncan with a handoff. We'll get it back. Look for some space. There was none. But he comes up with an assist. Nice basket there from the outside from Sato. Well, check that. That's Raita Akaho. Who had four threes yesterday. That was three. Number three. And it's now a four-point lead. Watch it here. Duncan in trouble. Finds Raita. And Raita draining that one. That's a specialty of the house. Welcome to the exciting wind-up here, B-League action coming to you this Sunday afternoon. Anthony Stai with the call as the defending champion Chiba Jets visit the San Anil Phoenix. They're up by four. San Endo with possession. Looking to get closer. 30. Almost traveled. Finds Knox. Knox had to put that one up quickly. And it's going to drop. He was going for the offensive rebound. Then he got clocked. Holding on to make sure all his teeth are still there. Nice drop pass. This is where it happened. On the box out. Watch the left arm. Come down there. But no whistle was blown. So they just stopped it. To make sure that Knox was okay. 80 to 78 is our tally. 2 and 13 left in this one. Hold on to your seats. Togashi will give it up and definitely gets it back. They go to Mooney on the other side. Mooney trying to make his move. Picks up his dribble though. Togashi might take matters into his own hands. Goes inside. That's a nice pass. Josh Duncan now with two free throws coming up. Talk about threading the needle. Watch this one. In between two defenders. Nothing Knox could do. Knox is going to pick up his fourth personal foul. And more importantly here for Chiba. They've got two free throws coming up. Josh Duncan yesterday was 12 out of 18 from the field. 3 out of 5 from a 3 point distance. Now, he's going to be tested from the free throw line. Makes the first. Duncan with 12 points. 
14 rebounds and 3 assists. That's going to rattle out. Not too many missed free throws for both these squads here. It's a three-point lead. As we're in the final two minutes. Here we go. 30 asking for it. He feels he can take Shutahara. But they're going to go to Knox. Up against Mooney. Trying to make that spin. And that hook's going to drop. And it's a one-point lead here. Enjoyed by Chiba. 15 points in the contest for Justin Knox. They go to Shuta. Mooney will come out. Shot clock winding down. Almost a steal. Hara for three. He'll come up short. Carter with a rebound. They push it forward. 30. 30 still. Will come up short though. That was touched last there by 30. He took off a little bit too early. Are they going to look at the monitor to check on this one? Fifty-eight point one second remaining in this one, and well, they're going to review it. This ball should go to Chiba. Watch it once again. Thirty against two defenders. Slight nudge there. That was actually a good ploy coming from Yuki Togashi. He forced thirty to pick up his dribble early, and then Shutahara was there as the secondary defender. Big call here, coming from the referees, and it goes to Chiba, as expected. That's the right call. Still, just a one possession ball game, even if Chiba gets two points here. But if they get a three, it suddenly becomes a two possession ball game. Everything still hanging in the balance here. The San Antonio Phoenix on a nine-game losing streak. Five straight victories for the Chiba Jets. Will a streak come to an end today? Or will it continue for both these squads? We'll find out in his final 50 seconds. Togashi at the controls. Tries to dance here. Up against Carter. Up and under move! Togashi hits! And that was against the defense of Carter. He's much quicker than Robert. And he took advantage of that speed. Let's see if he can watch that once again. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. He had Carter on a string. Takes it inside. Uses the basket as a shield. Carter can't get that block. That's beautiful to watch.
36.5 seconds remaining in this one. Sané needs to score here. Doesn't matter whether it's a two or a three. They go to Carter. He has been their main man here today. And shot clock is going to expire on them. They weren't aware of the shot clock. Quite surprising. But again, how could 24 seconds have expired there? When on the other side, but it said there, it, it showed just 14 seconds in this offensive thrust. They weren't aware. They thought they had the entire 24 to work with. And it expired there. Now they got a foul. Now they got to try to extend this game and hope that Chiba misses some free throws. They're not following. Finally, they do. And Togashi was just waiting for that foul. A few seconds expired there. 30 is going to pick up his fourth. I think 30 was of two minds. Because remember, they had to get it past the timeline within eight seconds. And Togashi didn't look like he was ready to pass that timeline. But the thing is, for the San Neo Phoenix, only now they're in the penalty. There's that foul from Ota. Now two free throws coming up here for Yuki Tugashi and 30 will check back in. They had to bring 30 out of the ball game because he already picked up his fourth personal foul. So that crew that was in was just really to come up with a foul. And here comes 30 back onto the court together with Robert Carter and Justin Knox. Knox couldn't give up another foul as well because that would have been his fifth and final one. All important free throws here for Yuki Togashi to make it a two-point, actually make it a two-possession ball game. And expect a timeout to be called here by the San Neo Phoenix. Togashi easily makes the first. Picture of concentration there. For the starting point guard of the Japan National Basketball Squad. Makes both. No timeout's going to be called and they're going to rush down. Yamauchi gives it up. Carter. Couldn't be saved there. Carter was looking for the easy two. Knox didn't roll to the basket. And that should be it. Two breakdowns on offense. And again, 30 will be replaced. Knox will be replaced because fouls are coming up here. They're going to try to extend this ball game still. That's a backing violation. Oh, foul is going to be called. Right before the backing violation was called, there was a foul. And so with 6.6 .6 seconds remaining, it should be a one ball game. Foul is going to be called there on Matsuwaki. 
But they're going to look for a quick three here. But with his next free throw, 26 points here for Togashi. And chances are he's a 90% free throw shooter. If he makes this one, that's going to be it. They're going to say no jumpers. He can miss this one. Which he does. Well, the problem was they didn't get into rebounding position early. And so they weren't allowed to come up with a rebound. And Yuki Togashi did the right thing. Purposely missed the free throw. So that his teammate could get the offensive rebound. And that's it. 2.8 seconds remaining. Even just one of these two free throws will make it a three-possession ball game. It's more than done. Well, Mooney wants to make sure. But Togashi did the right thing. He sacrificed his free throw shooting percentage just to make sure. But even if he made that, it still would have been 87 to 80. Tuya with one final heave. He's not even going to get the heave up. And that is going to be our final score. Chiba taking back to back here at the Toyohashi City Gym. And they're going to win this one by seven points. 87 to 80. Another gallant stand put up here by the San Anio Phoenix. But again, they're going to fall short here in the fourth period. Steady play being shown here. While ago on your screens, another important player for Sanen who was not suited up was Ryo Tawatari, who they acquired from Hiroshima from last season. And he was in action here today. There he is in CVs. In a bit, we're going to hear from Coach Atsushi Ono. And most probably, we're also going to hear from Yuki Togashi. Togashi led them in scoring today when yesterday in that 101-89 to victory, Togashi led his squad, the Chiba Jets, in assists with 13. We're going to hear from the winning squad in just a bit. But again... We're going to have the San Neo Phoenix and their team talking to their fans here at the Toyohashi City Gymnasium. Togashi would finish with 26 points and 9 assists. Tremendous game here for Togashi. Showing you why he's considered to be one of the best players in Japan. Here is Coach Ono. ありがとうございます。非常にあの、タフなゲームになったかと思いますが、振り返っていかがですか。そうですね。あの、ローテーションが難しくて、あの、選手が疲れてるんですけど、そのままあの、プレーさせなきゃいけない状態だったので、それで
、えー、今日富樫選手、手元の資料ですと26ポイント、えー、9アシストと素晴らしい成績だったんですがいかがですかそうですねあのちょっとあの怪我人がいる中での試合だったのでもうチームとして、まあ、そこをあのカバーしながらまず本当に、まあ、内容はどうであれ、えー、2連勝して、えー、終わることができてよかったなと思います。はい、えー、今日のゲームでですね、富樫選手四千得点を達成しました。あのー、昨シーズン三千得点を達成した時も三円戦だったと思うんですが、その時はわかりませんでしたって言ってましたけど、今日はどうですか四千得点意識してましたか。いや今日もあの四千得点に近づいていることすらわからなかったので、えー、まああのー、特に気にせず試合してたんですけど、まあでもあのー、これからもその得点というのを積み上げていけるように。えー、頑張っていいいきたいなと思います、えー、今日の三円チーム最後まで粘り強かったと思うんですが、はいえー、サイエンの印象を聞かせてください,いや本当にハードにプレーをしてすごいフィジカルで、えーまあ、すごくいいチームだと思うので、えー、本当にこれからたくさんの勝利ナイス・テイトメント、ワールド・ゴー・デー・フォーム、コーチ・オーノ、ネオ・シェイン、It's very hard to play this game, but we got it, and he was very pleased, and obviously、coach. Oh no, saw how difficult it was against San En. Looking at the records, it's 13 and 4, now 14 and 4, against 3 and 14, now 3 and 15. And you would have expected a blowout. But the San En Neil Phoenix battled to the very end, but they weren't as steady in the end game. And that gentleman on your screens right there is a big reason why Chiba came away with a W here today. So the Chiba Jets, the defending champions, now have 14 wins and six straight victories against four defeats. And for the San Antonio Phoenix, we talked about it a while ago. Now 10 straight losses, and they fall to 3 and 15. As we bring you some of the highlights of the game that just transpired, it was close. But no cigar for the San Daniel Phoenix. Togashi was really looking for a shot early. Duncan looks inside to Mooney. Mooney with a fall away jumper. Sugiura was a starter here today, will miss. And here's Togashi. Pushes it forward. Perfect pass. Shutahara drops it. And they were always in attack mode, especially that gentleman there. Finding Mooney, that's another assist. He really waits for the defense to react, and then he finds the open shooter. Duncan then went to work. He'll miss, and on the other end, Tsuya will get two points. First period ended in favor of the San Daniel Phoenix, 21 to 20. Extra passing finds Raita. Open for that three. And the fans loving it. It was end to end stuff. Knox puts up a three and hits. Togashi hits that three. He had a number of threes today. Looking at the three point field goal numbers for the Chiba Jets, they were 12 out of 31 for 38%. On the other side, 7 out of 26 for 26% for the San Daniel Phoenix. First half ended in a six point lead for Chiba at 44 38. Knox had his share. Look at this heads up play from Togashi. An assist to himself. We had a tremendous performance at the half. And there on your screens, you saw a while ago Elias Harris, who is still nursing that hamstring injury. He's been out since. The 27th of October. So over a month, Togashi once again hits.
Nice pass. 30 Ravenna there. Challenges Shutahara. And we'll get a three point play opportunity, which she converted. Almost a steal. And eventually it is one. And Matsuaki goes all the way home. Matsuaki, one of the new additions for Sanen, coming from Toyama last year. Step back jumper is going to drop. So we had five points there on that swing. The third period would end with Shiba up by just a point. Then Carter started to go to work. He had a very good offensive night. And then again, Togashi just too quick for everyone. In the fourth period, just with a one point deficit for San and they knew they had a chance to pull the rug out from under. The defending champions and Carter started to feel it even more in the fourth. Falling away in this one, drains it. Matsuwaki will push it forward. And there's 30. 30 always attacks when he's from that side of the floor. That's his stronger side. And he had himself another three-point play opportunity. But there is Togashi once again going right back to work. Back to business. Issues that pass. And look at that. An assist for Duncan. And a three there for Sato. And trying to add the finishing touches to this one. That was one of the shots of the match. And could be one of the shots of the tournament. Getting away from the defense here of Carter. And it's a win for the Chiba Jets. Our defending champs looking good early in the season. As they improve now to 14 victories against 4 defeats. As we take a look at the numbers, 64% shooting from 2 as compared to 59 for Sanen. And the big difference, again, just like what happened in the first half, it was really in the 3-point shooting percentage. Free throws, a whole lot more free throws also for Chiba Jets, making 15 as compared to just 7. 7 out of 7 for Sanen, but they didn't take as much free throws as they gave the Chiba Jets. 7 to 8, those are the turnovers. And you can see the 42 to 28. That is a huge discrepancy. That's the points in the paint. But in the end, it worked out for Sanen in that particular department, but it wasn't enough to sway the tide in their favor. Some numbers. These are head-to-head -head matches. 15 points there for Justin Knox. 14 points for John Mooney. And just about even in the assists, but rebounding, Mooney had nine rebounds as compared to just two rebounds for Justin Knox. Look at the other numbers, rebounds, both of them with 34 apiece. Assists, 25 for Chiba and 22 here for Sanen. We've got the leading scorers, 28, to lead all scorers in a losing effort. There we have Carter, Knox with 15, and 30 Ravenna with 12. 26 points for Yuki Togashi, backed up by the 14 of Mooney. And Duncan, who had 36 points in their win yesterday, came up with 12 today. And as, as much as they would have wanted to be able to score more, Josh is saying, we picked up the victory, we picked up two here in the Toyohashi City Gym. And I'm happy. Once again, for the fans in the Philippines wanting to catch B League action, you can catch it on Tap Sports and on the Tap Go and Smart Giga Play app. Also, the Pusu Pilipinas Facebook page and YouTube channel. And here we have the other leaders Carter leading the way in points, rebounds, and scoring with 28, 9, and 6, respectively. Togashi there with 26 points. Nine assists, and Duncan there with his 14 boards, 
leads the rebounding for his squad. And that is going to do it here for our coverage this is Sunday afternoon. In behalf of everybody from the B League, Anthony Sutai saying thanks for joining us. Till next week, take care. Have a great week ahead. God bless.